Now that you're a master at opening your locker, let's take a peek inside to see how you can organize all your things. So, back to the locker we went to. 44, 28, 46, but remember, we just go past that number so I can't move it anymore. Put it up. This is the size of a locker. To give you an idea, here's a normal binder. That gives you a feel. Now, one of the things we notice seem to help a lot, because you're gonna have a few binders, a few notepads, definitely some books, is how do I fit everything in this locker? Well, one of the items that comes in really handy, something called a locker shelf, okay? We sell these at our school store. They come in lots of different sizes. So the ones we have at our school store for sure fit in the locker, but this is the most traditional one. All right. Now, the thing I see happen all the time, kids get excited, they come to set up their locker at sneak preview on the first day of school, they build their locker shelf and it doesn't fit. Put it in sideways and it doesn't fit and they get frustrated. So let me show you how it works. For starters, when you have your locker shelf, definitely don't have it fully together. You're going to take one of the sides of the legs and bring it down. All right. Then what you do is you put it in at an angle. Straighten it up and voila, your locker shelf fits. It's actually how you're going to take it out at the end of the year, but you don't really remember. You just come in, loosen up one, one of the legs. And boom, you have your locker shelf. Now, let's talk about how you can organize your locker. The easiest and the method that seems to work the best particularly if you're using a locker shelf, is that binders and notebooks go on the bottom, textbooks on top. So let me show you what that looks like. So, you'll have a few binders. Students often put these at the bottom. All right. And then they'll often put their books up top. Nice and organized locker. You get four minutes in between every class. You don't need to go to your locker between every class period. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't. I would take two or three class periods of stuff with you. Now, no, you can't bring your book bag to every class, all right? So, how do you get all your materials? Well, first, a lot of kids like to use rolly book bags. They're not allowed at River Trail Middle School. These are the ones with the wheels that you can pull. The reason we don't allow them is that a rolly book bag has a very solid bottom for the wheels to go through. They don't fit in the locker. There's nowhere for them to go. But a normal backpack or a bigger backpack, this is my computer backpack, fits just fine. You stick in your book bag here. You're probably also gonna have a lunchbox. And when it gets cold, a jacket. and then always lock your locker. And that's how you can organize a locker.